Murdo, Champions League draw took place yeah. today and, and what a draw it is for Celtic. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, brings back good memories for a lot of the, the fans, but it's always going to be tough. You know, you're looking at the section that Juventus qualify from with Chelsea and Shakhtar Donetsk as well, so it's, it's going to be tough. It'll bring back a lot of memories for you as well. Celtic have only met Juventus twice in European competition. Back in 1981, you played in both legs against them. Yeah, it was uh, obviously at the time, again, it was a massive draw. They play against the Italian champions and you know, turning up at Celtic Park, jam-packed, couldn't get a ticket. And uh, really tough match. You know, we knew it was going to be tough. And you know, Liam Brady was the kind of star of the show because you know, going abroad and playing for Juventus. But we always felt we had a chance, we could, we could play well, we had a good home record and we beat them one nothing. When you go into a game like that against a huge European team like Juventus that have got that history, is there any, any fear or nerves in a player in a night like that? No, I don't think so. You're just desperate to get the game started. Obviously the build-up, you're a wee bit nervous uh, before the game, but once you go into the pitch, you just want to beat them. And I, I think every Celtic player who turns out, whether it's just now for the game coming up or in our era, that we just wanted to beat Juventus. Just what will the mentality of the Celtic players be going into this match? Obviously the first leg is at home. How crucial is it to get a result there? Well, I think it's so important. Celtic's got a fantastic home record. You know, we just need to look back at the Barcelona game. To beat Barcelona at Celtic Park is just very, very special. And I think now that all the players will look back and see all the great games at Celtic Park, the magic, uh, they the, the performed, the good teams they've, they've beaten over all these years. So I think they'll, they'll just look at Juventus and thinking it's doable. And I think that's the most important thing. The players will be confident. They know they've got the good quality. They can defend well. They can counter-attack well. They can score goals at European level. And I think the home game will be crucial as long as Celtic give themselves a chance for their way leg. How impressed have you been by the way this Celtic team has developed under Neil Lennon? It's amazing uh, how quickly they've developed because uh, the first, uh, before the Europa League last season, you just felt they struggled a wee bit away from home. The Europa League, I thought it was a lot of good signs, a lot of good football. But this year has just been outstanding. And the, the Champions League, or the two qualifiers for the Champions League, to go away from home, to win both of them, but they look so comfortable and I think that's the most important thing now for the players. They're confident they can go away from home, put in a good performance, maybe lose the game, it doesn't matter. They know they've performed, but more often than not this season, they've won the games away from home. So I don't think they've got any fear to go to Italy. Are any of these players catching your eye that you think, you know, you've seen a lot of great Celtic players from several generations. Do you think there's any players in this lineup that might be able to sort of cement their place in the, in the record books? I think that there's a lot. I think there's a lot of players about Celtic Park just now that you could look at and just think, perform like that week in, week out, and you'll always be remembered in the, the history books of the, the great Celtic teams. I think just now Neil Lennon's managed, managed to put together a really good team. You know, there's a lot of good individuals, but they play in the team work, uh, team set up. Samaras in European football has been outstanding, scoring so many important goals. You've got Brown in the middle of the park, when Yam in the middle of the park, Joe Ledley. Charlie Mulgrew, you know, players like that, Fraser Foster, from nowhere over the last season and a half, he's just become one of the best goalkeepers in, in British football. And we should mention, we can't let this interview finish without mentioning the fact that it was 1-0 in the first leg at Celtic Park, you scored the goal <laughs> that night, I mean you scored yeah. a few crackers in your yeah. time, but just, you know, how important is it that somebody steps up to the plate and, and is a hero in the night? Well, you, you'll take it that in my time when I was playing, I usually scored a few nice goals from outside the box. But this one, I think, took about four deflections and ended up in the net. But it was so important for us. It gave us the, the chance to go to Italy. But unfortunately, we, we, we lost the game 2-0 over in Italy against very hostile uh, home support. So, again, it was a good experience for us. Well, Murdo, thanks very much for your time. The Christmas tree's behind you there, so I'll let you go and have a happy Christmas as well. Thank you very much. For you too.